Shanksville, Pennsylvania. This is the memorial to the victims of Flight 93. On September 11th, the hijacked plane is being flown towards Washington, D.C. Its likely target, the Capitol. But a revolt by passengers and crew forces it to crash into this field, killing everyone on board. Six days after 9-11, Laura Bush travels to Shanksville. Hundreds of Flight 93 relatives are there. America is learning the names, but you know the people. And you are the ones they thought of in the last moments of life. You're the ones they called and prayed to see again. You're the ones they loved. One family member who meets Laura Bush several times is Deborah Borza. This is Diora, Deborah's daughter, pictured with her grandmother. Diora is one of the 33 passengers on board Flight 93. She boarded the plane as a standby passenger and uh, was flying back to San Francisco to start her junior year at Santa Clara. She was the youngest female passenger on board, youngest passenger on board. She was 20 years old. In the corner of this field, a boulder marks Flight 93's point of impact. Deborah comes here to be closer to her daughter. It's an impulse that Laura Bush understands well. You know, she's a, she's a mom. Uh, her daughters were the same age as Diora. Uh, it was difficult for her to um, be with me in some regards when we were looking into each other's eyes, understanding that uh, you know, her daughters were safe and, and my daughter was gone. Sweetie. She let me know how she knew how much Dura meant to me. I remember her hug. Uh, it was very uplifting, uh, very comforting. I really uh, counted on her to, uh, to be with me. And she was as if there was no one else around. A first lady who comes to the White House with a low profile is at the forefront of helping her country recover from a deep trauma. One magazine describes her transformation from the behind-the-scenes presidential wife to the nation's comforter-in-chief. <laughs> 